Oh, he ate, he ate, he ate right for the kayak. Wow, dude, this guy's fighting like crazy. What's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to sunny and actually pretty cool out St. Augustine, Florida. So today I finally got an opportunity to come out and fish St. Augustine. It has been windy, there's been a hurricane, it has been an absolute mess trying to get out on the water but I finally got the kayak out and I'm going to launch here at the Guana River. So my first time out here, I've heard good things, I've heard that there's a ton of redfish, there's a ton of trout and that there are some sight fishing opportunities and when I hear sight fishing you know I'm, <laughs> I'm all in. But I'm gonna go ahead and get on the water, show you guys the baits that I'm gonna be using today, and hopefully catch some fish. I will see you guys in a second. The launch looks really nice. Oh, that's cold. Oh, wow, that, that's really cold. All right, pedal drive in, sandals off, rudder down. Okay, so obviously this area looks pretty good so far. Um, one thing I'm noticing different, very different from where I'm from is uh, this water is really dark. It's really, really dark. So I'm glad I got the paddle tails that I got. So let me show you guys what we're working with for today. This is a Slayer Ink Company. This is a scented, very dark paddle tail with a chartreuse tail. I got Miralore, the Lil John, right here. Oh, there's an airboat. Hold on. Anyway, oh, it's still so loud. It's still so loud. As I was saying, so I also have the Mirror Lore, the Lil John right here. This is a shrimpy-ish color. And I'm thinking with these, instead of having a paddle tail, if we're gonna do a little bit of sight fishing, those will be pretty good because they do not have a tail on the end. And then classic gulf shrimp. All of those I'm going to be throwing on these owner twist lock hooks, lighter weights, subtle presentation, and hopefully I can put something together. Like I said, it's my first time in the area, so you never know what's gonna happen, but I'm excited to run around here, go try to find some fish. Hopefully I can see some tailors and get some good casts to them. All right guys, so I went ahead and rigged up this gulf shrimp here, and I saw something blowing up right on that point over there. Make sure my drag's loose, because I only have 12 pound leader on here. If we're gonna sight fish up into shallow water, that lighter leader is gonna Wow, okay. There we go. No, he came off, he came off. Oh, he ate it immediately, he came off. No, dude, dang it. I saw him swirl on it. Okay, that's what we're gonna look for. We'll keep cruising around. We're gonna look for fish blowing up, obviously. So I'm, I'm watching them and it looks like they're all gonna be hugged to these areas here. And when they come up and eat, they splash real, real loud. I need to find the areas where they're doing that and get a cast in there like I just did. And I think, I think that'll work for us if I can actually keep a fish pinned. There we go. I just spooked one. He's right next to me. Damn tail right here. Yep, I see him. There he is. He's right here. He's still chasing this bait. Oh, he's right here. I can literally see him clear as day right in front of me. Oh, Oh, he ate, he ate, he ate right in front of the kayak. Oh my God, that was so sick. Oh my God, I cannot believe he ate like that. Let's go. Thank you. 
get it wrapped around all this stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank you, Lord, I was recording. I always have a little heart attack every time I get a sick catch like that and I'm not recording. I always think I'm not recording. To pull this guy in like that. Oh, no, no, no. You're good, buddy. You're good. You're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. There we go. Let me get him unhooked here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. was such a sick catch, you guys. And definitely a good red. Look at that right there. I'll take that all day long. All day long. It's a beautiful freaking redfish. What an insane eat. All right, big guy. And they just have so much energy. Oh, man. I can't believe that. I mean, I was I was four feet from him. Four feet from him. And he just smoked it and took off. Let's go, dude. I'm so hyped. Oh, that was awesome. Couple big wigs pushing around here. It's a trout. I guess we got a little trout too. I didn't get back there. I just saw it. Look at that back there. I just can't get it. Can't get it where I want it. I gotta get a little closer, but I gotta be really stealthy coming through there. Cause he is shallow, shallow, shallow. Damn, there he is right there. Spooked him. He doesn't really have anywhere to go. I don't know if he'll eat. I doubt he'll eat. But look at that right there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, I missed one there. I'm gonna switch up what I'm throwing. I want something with a little less tail on it so it's not making as much commotion when it's in the water. So this is a Miralore Lil John. It's like shrimp-ish with some speckles in it. It's a little bit lighter than what I thought I was gonna throw in this water, but I'm pretty sure this will get it done. Instead of it having a paddle tail and causing a ton of commotion in the water, this will kind of just pop up and down. And it's at least visible enough to see in this water. So I think this will get it done. There we go. Nice. I'm just gonna flip him. I don't have a net. I got a good hook in him. Alright. Alright, you guys. Hey, let's get him back in the water. Well, not seeing much more action back here. I guess we're gonna cruise out. Keep moving our way around. The bait switch definitely worked to this little John. This little John is, is putting in work. Oh my god, look at all these birds, what the hell? big man he's underneath the kayak he's bumping into the bottom of the kayak right now wow dude this guy's fighting like crazy definitely a bigger red here I'm not really gonna be able to chase him right so I gotta I gotta use this I'll go over that I just gotta keep pinching on him. I don't wanna 
losing this is a bigger red. Remind me to bring my freaking net, man. Come on. There he is. Alright, guys. What a battle, man. Nice, chunky, freaking redfish. Very chunky red. Good, hefty, heavy fish right there. Alright, guys. I don't know how he still had energy to kick like that. Let's see if he can snatch up another one. He blew up, I mean, right right behind me he blew up right behind me i would say if there was one knock on this place one knock because the fishing has been great it is the fact that it is just so shallow and that is not fun at all when you have a the titanic of kayaks pushing this stupid thing around all day i might actually be a couple pounds lighter tomorrow from all this freaking exercise Whew. Oh, actually, I'm going to put this back on. God dang, that sun is bright. Well, you guys, for my first adventure out in St. Augustine, I would definitely say that uh, this place is some pretty good fishing. I have a few other spots that I want to try kind of around the city, a couple other places that have been recommended to me. Guana River definitely gets my stamp of approval for an awesome place to fish down here in Florida. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I Honestly, I would urge anybody who is in the St. Augustine area and likes to do kayak fishing to come over here and give this a shot. I've fished all around Florida, and there's not not any other place that i fish that's anywhere near like this thank you guys for watching as always don't forget like comment subscribe all the good things get out there don't get skunked and i'll see you next week all right you guys